Good morning, this is your Imperfect Carnivore in the UK. Was called Healthy Carnivore, but just recently changed my name. So this is my hopefully final um, ch name change for the time being. This video, I want to talk about how excited I am that um, I don't have um, psoriasis in my scalp anymore. Um, my only regret in this whole journey is I didn't take a photograph before of the psoriasis I had at the back of my neck. Um, I've had it all my life. For as far as I, back as I can remember but last year after the passing of my mother it had started to spread down my neck so it was a very invisible thing before no one could see it and then last year I noticed um, after all the stress I'd been through that it had started to come down to my neck so I couldn't have my hair tied up because it would be really visible um, on the neck at the back um, I thought I had taken a photo of it don't know where it's gone it's just vaporized into thin air so but I have taken a photograph just now let me show you my photograph that I just took five minutes ago um, that's annoying because even though I've got a lovely clear scalp and neck I've got I can see a couple of gray hairs there which I didn't know were there sorry about that but I'm nearly 48 my mum started going gray at 19 I'm now 48 and just starting to see signs so I call that a win um, yeah, so how have I done it? What have I done? Um, for those of you that follow me a long time, you'll know that it's um, the carnivore diet. But specifically, it didn't go away on its own. It had to, I had to go super strict. Um, so obviously no gluten, because I wasn't having gluten anyway. But I had to get rid of the coffee, which is linked with autoimmunity. I'm going to post a link underneath here in my description of a fantastic article by Sophia Clemens about the link between coffee and autoimmunity and psoriasis and also had to get rid of my beloved dairy. Amazingly, I have been uh, dairy free now for 108 days. I don't know how I've done it. This is the longest I've ever been without dairy, but I did have to go that strict. I think some people can lose um, their psoriasis just um, just you know keeping those things in but I had to go strict um, so I've got my screenshot now of how many days I've gone dairy free Ta -da! I think it's 108 if I've got my numbers wrong I'm very sorry it's still quite early in the morning and also here is a screenshot of how long I've been free of tea and coffee I have noticed my teeth are whiter which is a nice side effect I think they're whiter <laughs> hopefully you can see that um, but um, I hope that will continue to improve. So yeah, how did I get rid of my psoriasis? Well, I get, got rid of all the, the usual plant foods and glutens and things like that. And then said goodbye to my lovely dairy and then said goodbye to my lovely tea and coffee, which is going to annoy me at some point. Um, I've decided to keep tea in only on emergencies only. If you are British and you are watching this, you will know that we like to put the kettle on in a serious crisis. But until I have an actual crisis, the kettle is not going on for my tea or my coffee. Uh, so yeah, this is my neck now. I'll show you the photo again. Apologies for the couple of greys that strayed in there. <sighs> that was a shock this morning because I didn't think I had any greys. Uh, but have a look at my neck there. It is super clear, super clean. I mean, um, I wish I had that photo. I might try and find um, like a stock photo on Google or something of someone that's got psoriasis. Uh, but I did have a look through Google this morning to find some photos and they're all much more severe than mine. So it was bad. And if you are having psoriasis that severe, knock that coffee on the head, knock that dairy on the head and try and eat a very clean diet, clean of gluten and just do it. Just do it. Don't spend a whole lot of money going to specialists you know eliminate things and that's before I end on this this is something I heard recently that I thought was fantastic when there's something wrong with us we are not suffering from a medication deficiency brilliant I think that's brilliant what I mean by that is if there's something seriously wrong with you and you are being given medication which may fix it or may not you are not suffering morning you're not suffering from a medication deficiency. There's something going on in your body that needs sorting. Most of these medications, if not all, just treat symptoms and they don't even do that very well, do they? Most of the time. I mean, I have been on steroid creams for my psoriasis and yes, okay, it might work for a couple of days, 
but it's straight back. It's just disease management, isn't it? So, yeah. So if you've got anything wrong with you and you are taking medication for it, chances are it doesn't work. But even if it does, your body is not suffering from medication or steroid cream deficiency. It is suffering with something else. And I wouldn't mind putting money on that it's something you're eating. So, yeah, my psoriasis in my scalp. That's the longest illness I've got. My gastritis didn't start until I was in my 20s. Um, and obviously blood sugar things didn't start till later on. But my, my psoriasis is my earliest ever issue, problem, niggle, whatever you want to call it. Also had it on my elbows. They are nice and clear, but I've got my coat on. I can't bother to take a picture now. I might take a picture later when I get home. But yeah, so excited. Free of dairy, free of coffee. And these things should help me um, in other areas of my health too. But yeah, if you've got psoriasis, get rid of it. Get rid of it. You don't have to have it. You don't have to suffer with it. I'm going to go into work now. So, you have an amazing day. Um, eat your drink. No, not eat your drink. Edit that out. Eat your meat. Drink your water. Get back on track at the next mouthful. Don't stay in a, um, a state of disease. Get yourself sorted. Get off those foods and um, and be free and healthy like me <laughs> yeah I'm in a good mood this morning uh, you take care have a great day guys bye